What's up guys, back with another video. Uh, today I wanted to share this little clip that I found of Jack Hibbs talking about why America is so great. What he says in this, it, it, it's inspiring, man. It's inspiring. It's nothing like super deep and super crazy, but it's just inspiring, man. It, it moves you, or at least it moves me, and I hope it does for y'all as well, because man, we need more pastors that preach from this perspective, man. We don't need these hollow teachings, these hollow preachings, you know? We don't need story time. We need battle time, we need war time, we need building time, growth, progress. We're not supposed to be stagnant, we're not supposed to be tickling people's ears, we're supposed to be preaching the word of God and how we can walk this thing out in the modern world. But yeah, check this out, this is, this is pretty cool and then we'll talk about it after. And one move after another by the Holy Spirit of God caused this nation to rise up and to be worshipers of God. There was never a more industrialized nation on earth than this nation. Alexa de Tocqueville, the historian chronicler came from France to figure out why was America so great? And Tocqueville said that the greatness of America was not found in its commodious seaports. It wasn't found in its golden fields of grain and it wasn't found in its industrial prowess. And it wasn't found in its military strength. Alexa de Tocqueville said, I discovered the strength of America when I went into its churches. Because it was a people that had a knee bent to God. Somebody might say, oh, this is Christian nationalism. People say this when they're losing their argument. We do not believe in Christian nationalism as you define it. We believe what Ben Franklin said, that God governs in the affairs of men. America will not last forever if America lasts at all. We've been invaded without a shot being fired. There are known military groups, paramilitary groups that are now on our soil in this state and who knows but if in other states. Here, for what reason, for what purpose? What's before us? Will we have the freedom to gather together again and praise and worship God as we enjoy it today, next week, next month, next year? I don't know. But I believe the answer to that lies at the foot of the pulpit and in the hearts of God's people. If the pulpit preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ and makes disciples of all who respond to that gospel, then there might be, there might be a pause from heaven. What makes America so great? What made America so great wasn't the awesome cities and buildings and all the amazing things that we've actually invented in this in this country, but it was the heart of the people in the churches. It was the people that were willing to bow down, kneel down and pray. It was the hearts of the men and women in the churches and to go to war and fight, to build something, to build a country, to build a place that wasn't perfect, but was filled with men and women who were willing to fight and die to create one of the most perfect perfect nations in world history. There's a reason why even in all the chaos and destruction that's going on in America right now, there are still people that are willing to risk their lives by the millions to get into here and have a chance at what we have here, man. The hope, the freedom, it's not all gone because I can still make this video, you could still watch this video, we could still go to church, we can still talk about God for right now. What makes America so great is not the politics, it's not the grand cities, it's not the fast cars, the, the fancy watch the fancy clothes, the fancy clothes, our big houses. What makes America so great, what made America so great to begin with was it gave people a chance. It gave people hope. It gave people the ability to seek out God on their own terms. We need to restore the heart. We need to restore the spirit of the churches in America, man, because if the churches in America continue to fail and to fall, what other hope is there? Where else is there hope if it's not the American churches, man? We take that for granted, you know, we protest, but the day is going to come where we wish we didn't. 